Hello, beautiful ones, beautiful hearts, beautiful souls. So 2022 comes to an end. Who would have thought? Yes, for many of us, it really just flew by. But anyway, we're here in December. And here is another and the last energy update from the heart from us Sonic Song Course. So what is happening? Energetically and harmonically. Because the harmonics really play a much better or deeper role in anything than ever before. So we had a full moon in Gemini and in the sun of Sagittarius, even Mars close by. So the action and the forward move is very, very, very clear to us all. But what are we really pushed to move into? What are we really called for? And of course, Gemini and Satch are in the air. So where does that ride take you? That's a good question. The other thing that was important about the full moon that is still, how should I say, taking us on that ride. It's not finished. It, it's like we caught that ride from the full moon and it's taking us now into the solstice. But of course, much more than that. So the other part that is really important to see is the Neptune. So Neptune is square with everybody. And of course, Neptune is all about oneness. We are coming to the half of this experience of nothingness, empty time, as the Mayans called it. That 20 years of awakening, as maybe the Atlantean would name it, or whatever resonates with you. But definitely we're coming to the end of something and into something new that is really, really big. So energetically, you may feel more than ever before that there's something missing. You may feel more than ever before that you want to meditate, that you are longing for these altered stages of consciousness so that you can connect more than ever before we want to connect and in many ways all of us and that includes the ones who have been on this journey maybe from the time they are born or no matter if it's five years 10 years 20 years even 60 years it doesn't matter we are all on this path now to experience a new way of wholeness. And so the solstice, as you're allowing this energy from the full moon and all the other influences, and there's also the great attractor, there's even a healer in the game, so it's full on. As you're allowing this, you will see that you can really heart sink at that moment. Yes, I know I've created this word, but it becomes so much more apparent that everything really happens through the heart. You cannot bring your unconscious together with your conscious if you don't take it through the heart. You always be scratching on the surface. This energy takes you deep down. What is beyond you need beyond the emotions that seem to control you. It's not a time to say, well, I just say something 25 times, 21 days to change your mindset. No, this is the time to really go beyond and see what's there and heal that. So in that process, what came to us and says it just as she always is, very intuitively found the Japanese tradition of Kintsugi. And it, it fits. It is, in a way, a way of seeing wholeness in the broken, but also appreciating that it's okay, that it's broken, 
and yet finding another way to put it together. So you could say, while in the 1500s, when this was created and this when this was related to that philosophy of Babi Sabi, while then it had a different context because they lived in a different time, but now it's really, it's okay that things are broken. Your soul is broken and scattered or whatever, but it's okay because now and more so with this energy and after the solstice, we actually can bring it back together in beauty. And you know, the Japanese, they had a special sap from a special tree in the indigenous Japan that would bring the pieces together. And it was a process sometimes over three months as they figured out how that wholeness actually takes place. So we have taken some of this philosophy, but we put it into our context today, if that makes sense to you. And the interesting thing, of course, is at the end what they do, they put this gold color, so it looks extremely beautiful. So we're living in this time collectively. This is what is happening in the world. So the, the 3D, if you wish, is, is breaking apart, but it doesn't mean that we don't have the pieces for a 5D. And it also doesn't mean that we need to remind ourselves of all the struggling and the pain and the brokenness. But this time it's really to, to see the beauty, the simplicity and the wholeness. And the wholeness means we are heart sinking. The unconscious that controls us because we usually don't go so far in the underworld, in the lower world of our soul. To bring it together, to heart sink it with the conscious, expanding the mind beyond duality and separation, the drama and the karma and the whatever else comes here but also with the superconscious, because without the superconscious, nothing happens either. So now the energy allows us that. So I'm spending a lot of time on this as we are entering this amazing time. A lot of us will shift at this time from being needy into being ready. Fabulous time. We are in a very important phase of this metamorphosis shift, whatever we want to call it. So this is one part. What do the sonic song calls do in all of this? I'm looking at my notes, making sure I'm keeping on track as much as I can. So what is happening in song calls worlds? We're focusing at the moment at really giving 15 minutes free calls for resonance. There's a lot of things happening and it is important that you have someone to call, that you have someone to share. And it's not always about doing a journey with us, do a retreat with us, take some courses in the school or whatever. It's not always about that. It is also about the connection, which is primarily if that means it naturally flows into an engagement between us, wonderful. But it is really an opportunity for you to connect. What comes out of it will flow. There is no, it's not like there's a script that pushes you into working with us. So this is number one. Number two, is the event for this month, which is very different. We have done many ceremonies and this time guides said, just flow, do something different. And of course it was catching that ride on the full moon as I have given you a little bit of account of what is happening here. And it came out very different. So we ended up recording a setting the scene where I got downloaded a poem to set the scene going beyond what I have what I've shared with you 
about the energy that is happening, moon, universe, stars. And then, of course, an attuning sound journey to kind of catch that right into the solstice. And now this is the important part and beyond. So that whole energy at the moment is taking us beyond. And this full moon ride to the solstice and beyond is in a way journeying together. So we have a few people booked in. There's still some spaces. If this is for you, please, please book. There's not many spaces. We keep it very small. On the 21st, we have the ceremony. Should you not be available to join us, there will be a recording. And yeah, it, it is something else. So this is the second part. The third part is this new thing that just really comes in the in the energy of this of this month and of where we are at the moment so the japanese thing that i was mentioning to you kenchugi we call it beyond kenchugi and it really goes beyond your need and we're seeing what is happening there so it's a it's a journey it's a private it's not a class or anything like that we're looking beyond there's a lot of harmonics sound harmonics of course involved and we're really figuring out what is the need beyond so that you can truly become ready you will know if this is for you this is not something well there's nothing that we have that we can sell to you so the beyond kinchuki is really for you you will resonate, as I said, when you are ready to see the beauty in the broken pieces and really come into that wholeness. We've done it for a few people. It is really amazing. We did soul retrievals and we did a lot of things in that direction. But this is really something else. It goes beyond many, many, many other techniques and methods that we have used before so that is that i will put some links and some notes so that you can contact us should this resonate with you the next one of course is our dancing dialogue here on youtube and yes we are continuing and next week we will re record at least one two three more with the existing emerging archetypes and even more. So this is really something we feel is quite necessary and interesting and fun. And the last thing is the website. So we are finishing that off. Ceci does all her magic in regards to design and how it works and all of that. And step by step, you will be able to access more through the website. Most of it is up at the moment. But there's a little bits of on pieces, especially in the heart shop. There will be meditations available that you can either to listen free or you can download and give us a gift just like that. So this is December for us, 2022. If you have made it to the end, then there is a key. And the key is that if you heard about this key now, please write it in the comments that you have reached to the end and the key. And I will let you know what that key is for. So this is me and us for December. Sending you much love on your path and wherever you are at. From my heart to yours. And see you soon.